What's up, guys? Grizzly Wizard here, coming back for another reaction to The Legend of Vox Machina Season 2. This is Episode 5. It's called Pass Through Fire. Through the fire and the flames, we watch the Vox. Hell yes. Um, I'm actually really enjoying this show. Things are crazy right now. Um, Vax just rescued Vex, but at what cost, right? Um, I don't think he fully comprehends what these new powers are going to do for him, and I don't think that we as the audience are supposed to fully comprehend it yet either. There's more to be revealed. Um, but without further ado, let's keep going. Very pretty. Is this Keyleth's people? No, don't go! Oh, I'll be back, little flower. But until then, we need to know something. Listen to that, Keyleth. Yeah, I figured. Do you hear it? The wind? Your power. Whoa. Wind, fire, and the earth and water. Go planet. Ow. Uh, never pull back. See? We were made to pass through fire. It doesn't there it is. hurt you? Pass Only if fire. You let it. Air Ashari. Implying that there's other kinds of Ashari. There's like water Ashari, etc. Where's her mom going though? Is she having to go off on the same like type of quest that Keyleth is currently on? Only she never came back or something tragic. Alright, we're in for a Keyleth episode. Let's go. Grog's uh, season two beard needs to make its way into this intro. All right, back to present day. Oh, she was remembering that flashback scene, listening to the wind. I feel more grown, more mature. Eh, <sighs> you look more mature. I'm going to take that as a compliment because of how mature I am. <laughs> more mature since coming back from the dead, is that what she's saying? Kayla, <gasps> is something wrong? No, it's just we're so close to Pyra. Pyra? Is that where you're from? No, the fire Ashari live there. Oh, word, okay, nice. Of course, Pyra, Pyro. It was one of the last places my mom was seen alive, on her Araminte. Maybe we should go. I'd like to, but the people of Taldori are depending on us. No, you're right. It's fine, I didn't mean to... No, come on. I'm gonna go. You gotta find out. If, you're, if that's the last place your mom was potentially seen alive, like, you need at least that closure, if not answers. Uh... Craven Edge? Yes. Not oh, good. this is getting worse. Now he's talking to the sword. Uh, look, so I love opening people up to feed you, right? I mean, they're flying apart. It's like a dream. <laughs> uh, but can I ask, could you ever be full? Nope. Uh, Grog, are you talking to your dookie? Uh, yep, yeah, just asserting my dominance. <laughs> <laughs> nice save. Sure, yeah. Poop accompaniment. It's what I've been training for my whole life. Shut up, Scallon. That's literally what bards are for. Oh, so, um, uh, where was I? Uh, is this loud enough for you? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, so, um, I kind of want to know, ridiculous. Like, um, what's in this for you? I mean, anytime you have any sort of a magical object that wants you to feed it blood, it's it's no good. It's bad business. <sighs> my hunger always. Man. I sympathize. So the sword can get frustrated too. Is he gonna see the matron in the fire? Is this a vision of the future? Or is it a mirror of Galadriel kind of thing? Like this could come to pass if you fail. Whoa. Oh shit! No, not again. Leave me alone. Those voices were really creepy. God, they've gotten me twice with that shit now. <laughs> damn it. Come on, damn it. Why won't you oh, he can't take off. the vestments off. Interesting. Keyleth's gonna put it together. She's no dummy. If anyone should figure it out, it should be Pike, right? She's the one that understands how having a patron works. Good thing you and me ain't Charles! <laughs> on the fucking road! <laughs> God, you guys are better singers than Scanlan. 
Oh, that was cool. That was really subtle. Like a little bag of holding pulled the big old broom out of it. Uh, I'll land here. <laughs> oh, shit! It's a broomstick! What'd you say? Vituna? Viridian? Voluptuous? <laughs> yes, you say voluptuous and the flying broomstick takes off. I'll tell you the magic word for a favor. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that is quite the level up, though. Out. What? Oh, damn. Is that the, the Pyro Village where the fire Ashanti are? Right by a volcano? I guess that would make sense. Could a dragon be responsible for this somehow? The fire Ashari could be in trouble. Then they'll have to deal with it themselves. Vax, come on, man. This screams side quest. You gotta go check it out. Especially since Keelan's mom was last seen there. Oh, that was cool. Man, you could go after her if you had a flying broom. <laughs> Shut up. We can't detour every time we see someone in trouble. Keyleth would drop everything to help us, especially you. Yeah, come on, man. You're being a real Percy right now. I love seeing Keyleth go in and out of wild shape. It's it's badass. It's one of my favorite powers in D&D. &D. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Is there anyone left to save? I guess this guy. What the hell is that? That's not a dragon. Some sort of fell beast. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Are they like little dragon hatchlings or something? Did they come out of the volcano? Because that'd be badass. I didn't know when I'd see you again. What did this to Pyra? There are so many dead. The rift to the fire plane was torn open. Okay, so these, these beings are from the fire plane. I came as soon as I could. He must be water... Water Ashanti or whatever, because he's wearing blue. The rift was torn open. Those beasts have been coming through in waves while our fire tamers hold. I back. mean, huge problem, yes. Totally badass, though, as a concept. <laughs> fire tamers need our magic to seal it. You're really worried she's gonna lose your dad. No freaking way, Kila! Kila? Halura! New characters. Where's the rest of your team? They're making their way on foot, because they can't turn into birds. Roll for initiative! Oh yeah! You know what you fight fire with? Fire... me. <laughs> also an acceptable answer. Scanlan! Word, please! Just say yes to that favor and it's all yours! Oh my god, come on, Scanlan! Are they trying to close it or just stabilize it right now? Because it doesn't even seem to be moving. Come on, Grog, stop I'm feeding trying, the damn sword! These guys got bloody insides! What was that, buddy? Oh yes, Pike, please. Uh, Realize that something untoward is happening with Grog and his sword here. Nice. Hey! Uh, Good job, Pike. Wait, what? Halora fucking Vysorin! Not my middle name, but I'm pleased to see you as well. They must be people from like a previous campaign that we've met. When the tower fell, she whisked us away at the last second. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. We are the reason he escaped. Wait, what? Years ago, Kima and I battled Thordak with a group not unlike yours. Hey, Dragonborn! <laughs> but we were outmatched. We got hold of an ancient artifact, the Soul Anchor. The Soul Anchor. And decided to bind him to it. Like an arcane tether, it pulled Thordak into the fire plane. Imprisoning him there forever. Or so we thought. So what went wrong? All right, Keeler. This is it. No, I, I can't. I can't do it. I will say it's highly convenient that this, this fire plane portal opened up right where there's a nice little stone walkway for them to stand on. Now! It seems like the structure's built for the portal. Is there always a portal here? Yes! Good work, Keeler. No, it's gonna break through. Oh! God, they're just pouring forth from it. Look out! Oh God, the blood! Yeah, they're dead. They're super dead. Damn it! It's whitening. Did you just like feed it energy, and now it's getting bigger? Is that what's happening? Till you got no blood. Then find me some now. Huh? 
Oh man, this whole thing's gonna end with Grog like trying to kill one of the party members for blood or something. It's gonna get into his head. At the very least, like killing the wrong person, you know? Murder instead of just in a fight. Together. Let's go! Teamwork! Oh, it is shrinking though. It's working. Dad. No, fuck! I hate being right all the time. Pike! Oh no! I got him. Little flower, listen. Oh, her mom. She can hear her. She can feel it on the wind. Uh. Don't pull back, like your mom said. I like it. It's a great moment. Kill it. What are you doing? Is it gonna work though? I was made to pass through fire. Kill it. Oh, that gave me a chill actually. And she's gone. She just went through it. Is she in the fire plane? Wow. The fire plane. Oh, and they're coming from all over. It hurts. Only if you let it. Yep. Oh! What?! Firebending unlocked! Whoa. Damn. She turned into, like, an aspect of fire? God damn, Keyleth, I didn't know she could do that! I don't think she knew she could do that. Whoo! Yes! And she's trapped on the other side of it now. No! She's not dead, she's just like over there now. <gasps> With the fire horns, oh that was cool. What? Kayla. Kayla, you're all right. Oh my God. And now she's wearing red, her outfit changed. Wow, well Keyleth definitely just leveled up. We go forth, knowing you have mastered fire. Hell yes. Thank you, Flame Speaker. You sure you trust those around you? I trust them with my life. I mean, yeah, the whole the whole gang is trustworthy, but Grog is on the verge of not being trustworthy if he allows the influence of that sword to get in too far. I couldn't have asked for better companions for my dear Kaelin. I'm really glad he survived, actually. I really thought he was going to die. Please take care of each other. <laughs> Especially that one. Dad, you're embarrassing us. We'll do what we can to help rebuild Pyra, then head to Whitestone. So this one can heal. No. Skittish bunch of bastards. <laughs> Thanks for earlier. I was actually kind. Yeah, but what's the favor? I mean, what was I gonna do? Let you die? I hereby owe you one favor. Care to seal the deal? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <come on>. oh. <sighs> uh, well played. Well played. Oh, there's looting and pillaging happening. Really? In the middle of this crazy tragedy? Opportunists. Yes. This gold pleases us. Got it. For okay. now. So the half giants are like vassals to the dragons now? Reign of the Chroma Conclave. A reign that will sadly be short lived. Unless that is. Is that Ripley? You care to hear what I have to say? <sighs> Ripley, what the fuck are you playing at? She's gonna team up with the dragons? Oh, man. You know, I knew she was gonna come back into the fold, but I kind of thought she would come back as an ally. Man, it's getting better. It's getting more and more complicated, too, and I'm, I'm getting more and more nervous about Grog's trajectory with Silas's damn sword, you know? He's too innocent in his, like, he's got an intellect of six, right, first of all. <laughs> but he does, he really has this childlike innocence that he could be taken for a ride with this thing, and he could get corrupted and end up doing something evil and very unspeakable on behalf of the sword without even realizing that he's changed at all. I mean, he's surrounded by people that really should be able to pick up on this, right? Like, Keyleth should be able to tell, Pike should definitely be able to tell, too. Yeah, I don't like how many secrets are being kept in the group now, because... Vax is keeping to himself everything that's going on with the Matron and these weird zombie visions that keep fucking jump-scaring me. <laughs> and Grog is going off and doing his clandestine, like, poop conversations with the sword, you know? Eventually, it's all going to have to come out. I'm just hoping that 
we can air all of this and get everyone on the same page before there's some calamity that comes of it, you know? Because I feel like that's the direction that we're heading in. I thought Keylet's moment of, of like leveling up, unlocking the potential of fire, mastering fire, as I guess what they call it, uh, was really cool. It was a really touching moment when she could like remember her mom and feel her mom on the air, reminding her of what her potential is and what she can do. And I'm gonna put it on the record out there as my theory. I don't think her mom is dead. I think her mom just disappeared and there's gonna be a reason why, but we're gonna find her. We're gonna find her by the end of this. That's what I think. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to Vox Machina Season 2, Episode 5. Uh, this reaction was edited to comply with fair use. If you want to check out the full-length, uncut version of this reaction, it's available on Patreon. There's a link in the description of the video to the Patreon page. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next one.